Hi, ponies. How you doing? It's Applejack, but you might notice I'm in a new place. This ain't the Trixie for a server no more. Mm -mm. What we are here to do, and as you can see, we've been fooling around in creative mode. This will be the new game. Nightmare Moon. So you'll show up in this place and there'll be this big old box and instructions. Now one of the things that will be suggested is to like run for cover immediately. And you'll see that there is a torch there and there's a torch there and there's a cave there you can hide in, which we're not going to do right now. And there's a reason to hide because momentarily all kinds of monsters is going to come out. What you got to do is prepare yourself to place this key and win the game by placing the key in the place in the mysterious box. And seeing as that key is a dragon egg, you got to play regular Minecraft all the way through to uh, get the dragon and uh, win the thing. Now... There's a number of things that you can do to uh, help yourself. I am influenced by Vex, and Vex is the fellow who goes on about um, mobs ain't actually mobs so much as they are experience packets. Like, there, you, you're an experience packet. You're also food. Not very good food, though. There's another experience packet coming this way. Now this is the kind of problem you have with this place. We're gonna try to climb up. Wait a minute, do I have blocks? I do, I've got blocks. I got blocks. So. Jack hops up using some blocks, avoiding this big hole. We got all kinds of things that might help you on your way. Here's one. This is a thing called a cow popper. Never heard of a cow popper? Well, you will, because a cow mm. popper is a thing that does stuff like this. Just let me loosen that a little bit there, and take some cover over here. We should be getting some cow popper action any moment now. Might take a while for it to get going. Mm. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this here is a cow popper. See, they kind of go flying up in the air that way. They like, can't hurt you. I don't think they can knock you up in the air, but. This is a way of getting food when you might not have food conveniently around. Assuming that this whole place remains, like, with grass on it and stuff, because they got to come off the grass. This is a localized spawner, so it will only be popping 
when you need it, and then it will go away. They don't pop cooked cows because you can't have everything. No. Get this creature out of the way. You took too much time for me to kill. Here's another thing. See that light? See that there? There's all kinds of funky grinders you can have. Notice how... I got this little place here where I could use a... Hear that? Yeah, there's a funky light and uh, something over there, place over there. Put the skeleton hiding in it. Thank you, skeleton. I was gonna hide in there. Well, you might hear a certain kind of noise. That is a um, anti gas in bunker. Howies. Now how am I supposed to get at you? The spider there. The spider will you. Ah, gotcha. When you're hiding in this bunker, the gas can't properly see you. the same, you may end up seeing gasps, because they may end up spawning up there on the top of that place. You can hear them, I don't see them. Let's hustle off this way. So to head back a little bit, I'm gonna run past you. I don't even care. Come on, come on. Back over here where we started. It's getting on towards daytime, which is just time for checking out something. Uh, not the spooky hole. Now you might want to hide in this spooky oh, yeah. hole from the zombies and things, but it may not be a good idea. Because there might be things in this spooky hole. Yep. Okay, howies. Hopefully this won't last very long, but this kind of brings us to the next invention. This may take me a while to demonstrate. I hope not. Last time my luck was out. Did not work too good at all. This time we're going to hope my luck is a little bit more in because here is a new thing. See how there's these torches that t tip you off to something being there? Now there's something here too. This is a nice little field. Make note of the location of this water. You may be wanting to know about it. You see how this goes down here. We got us a new monster, and it is called Stormtroopers. You can kind of hear them, and I can see them, and it's daytime, so they ain't going to come any farther than this, but Stormtroopers hit you with these um, bones. Let me put this back some of this stuff back so that I can pick up things. I think I've got one. I got one. 
This here is a heavy bone. It is knock back one and silk touch one. Silk touch so that you can get stuff like, um, if you wanted to harvest leaves, use leaves for something, or if you wanted to, um, get glass from somewhere. Not that I got a bunch of glass around, but if you did, you can use this thing and it works pretty good. Now these guys, they are the stormtroopers. Pretty much one hit and they're gone. I did that by uh, giving them some initial damage. And then it's come busting along like that. Now, here we have something a little different. See that there? Do not get hit by that blaze rod. You know, that credit is a little bit more uh, tough than the previous ones was. Don't get hit by that blaze rod, boy. Notice I got something else? Here's the thing. Large trout, knockback X, looting X. Watch what this does. But that doesn't really give you the idea of it. This is what the large trout does. Now, note it doesn't do a lot of damage any properly weapon. It does nothing more than a fist punch, but... Boy, is it a good defensive weapon. It will get things out of your way, and no mistake. They will be out of there. Previous time I tried doing this recording, I attempted to, uh... Knock an Enderman around, but I couldn't actually reach him. But... The large trout is a special, special thing. Now let me eat a little more of this food here and then see if I can't get one of them blaze rods up and at them. Oh, now this could be bad. This could be very bad. Come on. Get me the hay out of here. If they start knocking you the wrong direction, you've had it. I'm telling you, you've had it. Get knocked in among... Th they can knock you around, but then the one with the blaze rod, boy. Let's see if we can get one of them things dropped. Oh, did I... Aha! If I can get in there. Did I get it? I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm so out of here. Now, if this was nighttime, I would be in really bad trouble. Observe that rod. The trout was all knocked back. Blaze Rod, Fire Aspect X, Looting X. This does two things. One, it'll give you food. See? See? Good food. And it's looting too, so... That works. I don't think it actually hurts blazes to hit them with fire aspect. I do believe that that is all fine. Got some blazes down there. You will also note 
when you dig up this coal, there's blazes under here. Oh, hi there. You can hear them. We got this mysterious thing. Sacrifice a pig in the middle of it. This is a place where a bunch of Endermen are um, doing TNT mining. Don't ask me where they get the TNT, they manage it. So that's where you get large quantities of end pearls and stuff. And we got blaze rods, so you can find... Do I have my trout? I want to hit you with a damn trout. Come on. Okay. <laughs> I hit an enemy with a trout. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I was still recording for this because this is the final thing. It has to do with the, um, you can get the Enderman and Pearls and you can get the Blaze Powder and you can make, um, what the hell, the Eyes of Ender to go and find yourself a stronghold. Now this is a small map, but... I have one more enemy, and we call it cockroaches. These critters are silverfish, and they are poisoned and have regeneration. So it's going to take a fairly good thing to uh, kill them. They will wander around like that. And they will hide themselves as they do. If they hide themselves and then come back out, they will no longer be poisoned. But as you know, the way silverfish work, those ones that are poisoned, Let me quickly do this. Those ones that are poisoned are calling the others. Now here's the thing about some fish. They work like this. out of bricks or whatever during the daytime. Excuse me, there's a reason I'm doing this. And so as you can see, they're spawning away like crazy. But the spawner has a range. These are coming within a small limited range. So if you're able to get rid of the blocks, and see here, they, they want stone blocks, they do. Now if there ain't any stone blocks in range for them, see? Then I'll wander off, I'll kill this one. Let them hide themselves. This thing is going, but it's falling enough of them two little blocks over there. Don't you hurt me. So this will wreck any place that has overfish, like for instance, strongholds. But one way of dealing with it during the day is to get rid of them so that, uh... You don't have these, uh... 
bricks anymore. It's going to take me a long time to cut this up because I don't have a proper pick. But my point, I believe, is made. They have laid waste to this place because they keep falling down and they keep burying themselves in bricks and coming back out of them again and they're leaving it proper Swiss cheese. But it's daytime. It's daytime, so the spawner is activated and ain't hardly nothing happening no more. Unfortunately, Nightmare Moon is played at night. It is eternal night until you place the key in the lock to um, break the spell and allow daytime to happen and dawn comes up. You may notice that silverfish spawners work slightly differently in the nighttime. I'm sure how people are going to deal with this, in fact. Get over there and break the spawner, I guess, is the thing. How to do that is very much another question. can do to you and your stone areas. Be wary before you come dealing with these things, boy. Because cockroaches is a mean mother of a monster. want to try to take out that spawner from a distance somehow. Sadly, light won't help you. I don't think it will help you. We can find out. We can find out. Okay. So that will do me for now. This is a little preview of some of the things that you might run into in Nightmare Moon. The place the key map. I'm a working. I've been building the mob, mobs and things, and I'm working on the uh, box by which you uh, operate the map because the map operates on this redstone box with command blocks and uh, fires them things off. And yep, under normal circumstances. You would have gone into a cave over here. And there's the instructions. I don't see a lot of cave left anymore. So with that, I will bid you adieu. Laters.